everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much to my subscribers welcome newcomers i hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey with us one big happy family if you have not this subscribed yet please do so it helps us creators to continue on creating these pieces for you guys also if you like the videos please give a thumbs up it's extremely important i like to mention that i do have a facebook group private group you're more than welcome to join the queens there and also facebook crochet page instagram and tiktok you can follow me and um be a member uh, in the group by hitting that link below the description box all the links will be below um what else there's a two minute video also link below in the description box in case it's too fast for you any of the videos you can slow down the video turn your closed caption on pause take notes i don't write patterns unfortunately as i don't read them for the most part i use 100 percent cotton thread these are portugal brands um they're four ply similar to aunt lydia number three cotton aunt lydia number three cotton is a little bit bigger i use it 2.75 hook or three depending upon the project that i'm using creating small hook to tuck in loose ends and a pair of scissors um, please feel free to uh, suggest um, what would you like to see most or more of i'm open for options okay so we're going to get started thank you for the women that came through to help women in need of thread and for your donations god bless you and if any of you are interested to help out you could always reach out and through the message of instagram or my facebook page or the group or my email below also in the description box thank you so much everybody let's get started okay everyone so today we're going to create a another uh centerpiece this is a set that i'm going to create with three different sizes obviously this video is only for one size so i'm going to create the smaller version and then i'll be doing the medium and then the big version this is um in order so for that reason why not and record it uh for you guys so i'll be using this blue sometimes i change my mind on the colors but you can use whatever colors you like now this um particular uh centerpiece i have very similar to it quite similar a few pieces to it stitch is a little bit different again so we are going to get started these are four ply 100 percent cotton thread i'll be using blue greens whites maybe some other color i'm not sure yet okay uh 2.75 hook a small hook to tuck in loose ends of course a pair of scissors if you have not subscribed i ask of you please to subscribe and give a thumbs up on the video it's extremely important for us creators it's the only way we can keep putting out videos for you guys if we manage to succeed on the videos that we are creating or else it's literally impossible to continue because it costs us a lot of time and money to put these things out okay so thank you so much everyone it's also good to have some markers in case you need them along the way some people sometimes prefer to use markers as they go so i'm going to start that slip stitch knot which never counts for anything and i'm going to do 52 chain stitch and i'm starting off with my blue which is color 32 okay we go by color number not name so 52 chain stitch I've done my 52 chain stitch and I'm going to come back on my fifth one two three four on my fifth grabbing that middle that means that you are pulling those two loops here so your pattern doesn't curve like a U shape okay so we're going to continue to do double crochet all the way to the end once you re reach the end you should have 49 double crochets okay so i'll meet you at the end okay everyone so i've done 49 double crochets including with the very first one and inside of the same stitch i'm gonna add six more 
So that's going to give me a total of seven. If you want to put the marker on your 49th, go ahead. Okay, everyone. So with the 49th double crochet, I added six more on the same stitch. That means I have a total of seven. I put my marker on the 49th already. And now we're going to do one per stitch. Another thing is I have put a marker just before the last two double crochets. So you should have 46 double crochets now, counting after the seventh of the edge. Okay, so one per stitch until the marker. It should be 46, nine, 46 double crochets. Okay, everyone, so pretty much finished doing my 46 double crochets. That's counting from the very first one right after we've done the seven. And we have two here. That's already counting for the seven we are going to have here at this edge. So this is my 46. I'll be putting also a marker on there. And so... We have two, we have this one, so I'm going to come into the next one here, and inside of this one I'm going to do five more double crochet so one two three four and five and I'm going to close on my second chain here from where I went up so I'm going to put my marker so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Two that we left behind. Three, four, five, six, and my seventh. I'm going to put my marker on my 46th double crochet, which is the one before we started the edge. So this way you should have 46 double crochet on this side and 46 on this side. Okay, everyone. So I need to go to the first Let me just get this marker out of the way. So we had skipped those two here. So I'm going to do one slip stitch, two slip stitch because that's part of my seven double crochets. Now on the next one, I'm coming in with a single and two chain. So that's the first of my 46 double crochets. Okay, so you're going to do double crochet over double crochet, 46 double crochets all the way to the end. And then once we get to the end, we're going to start to increase on the corners. So if you realize we had jumped those two where I had put the marker, that means we still have the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. And we have the seven on there. And then we're going to do the 46 double crochets. I've taken out my marker. So I have 46 double crochets. Now we're entering the seven double crochets. So we have an increase. Two double crochets per stitch. That means this time on this second row, I'm going to have 14 double crochets. I'm just putting my marker back on my 46 double crochet. Again, on the next one, two double crochets per stitch. 
total of 14 now on the edges. And we'll do exactly the same thing on the other edge, on the other corner. Okay, so this is my 46 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then we're going to continue the 46 double crochets and do two on each uh, double crochet each stitch that means we'll have 14 also on here I'll meet you at the end when we're just finished the 14th and we're going to attach it on the second chain this is row two one and two okay so I'll meet you at the end okay everyone so I pretty much finished my second row now we're going to continue to do this the same way for the next few rows. That means we're only on the curves we're going to have the increase on the second double crochet. So this row two, we have two together. On the next row, we'll do one alone on the first double crochet and on the second, two together. One alone, two together. On the other, on the next row again, that means uh, row three will be one alone, two together. Row four, two alone, two together. Okay. So I'm going to come back in the same stitch as I've closed in, single, two chain going to do my 46 double crochets because now it's just going to be a repeat of the rows um, just the increase on the edges there's no point of taking so much space on my memory okay so I'll meet you at the end just to show you okay everyone so I've done my 46 double crochets coming in that first one one double crochet on my second there's the increase of two together in the same stitch next one one alone next one two together we're going to do this on the edges now this is going to go to row seven counting from the first one the same way so the next row you'll do two alone two together two double crochet alone one per stitch and then on the same one two together I'll meet you at the end of my row seven. Okay, everybody. So I've done my seven rows. Okay, just so you understand. So on this first or the second row, we've done two together, two together. So we have the 14 double crochets. On row three, we did two together, one alone. Row four, two together. Two alone, two together, two alone. Row five, two together, three alone. Row six, two together, four alone. And row seven, two together, five alone. Okay? On this row eight, we're going to do single crochets, no increases. So I'm coming back in, single, one per stitch all the way around there is no increase so it's just a single crochet one per stitch this is row eight and then i'm cutting my thread and coming in with the white okay everyone so i finished row eight i had said i was going to come in with white but it's not white we need to do the stems for the rose buds Okay, so I'm going to start with ribbon starting, coming in with that lighter green. I didn't uh, take the multicolored green, wanted to change a bit. Single, and one chain. And I'm going to come back in the same stitch and do another 
double crochet, two chain. Coming back in, so I'm creating these V's with two incomplete. Obviously, the first one is is literally impossible to do the incomplete. So I'm just gonna pull well into the string here. Then I'm gonna skip one, two, three, and I'm gonna come into the fourth again, doing the incomplete double crochet two times. Chain two, we're gonna do this all the way around, coming back in, one, two, and now close it together. Skip one, two, three, into the fourth. One incomplete, two incomplete, and close it together. Chain two. We're gonna repeat this all the way around the same way. If there's any changes at the edge, come back to you and tell you probably have to skip less but I will let you know this is row 9 okay everyone going into row 10 I'm coming in with royal blue so a shade darker than the one I have there you can pretty much start anywhere coming inside of that V and going to create my rosebud single to chain I'm gonna have a total of five double crochets inside of this V then I'm going to come on my second chain here close it one chain two three four chain only on this first one and I'm going to do my peacock single coming back in that space there in the flower single three chain pre-cut coming back in again one two three chain and my third pre-cut and coming back in with the single now I'm going to do one, two, three chain. And we're going to repeat exactly everything again. Oops. Five double crochets. And one more. So we have the five double crochets. Close in that first one. And then do one, two, three, four. Only on the first one. So I've closed my peacock. I'm coming inside of that center. That little hole in the center. Single, three chain. And closing again. Coming back into the center. Single. Three chain and closing with single. Coming back in, single, and now do your three chain and repeat all the way around the same way. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished doing the small one, and I was advancing on my other ones because I need to ship this out. So I did the medium one. Now, it's the same way as we've been doing the small. The only difference is we are increasing on the chain. So this chain, I did 62, 62, no, I did 66 chain stitch on the medium. And I did the big one which I still have to block. Obviously, I haven't blocked yet. So once it's blocked, it will be nice and flat. And this one I did 72 chain stitch. Okay, so now we're going to continue with the white. Okay, so I finished doing all my rosebuds there. Um, I have 47 rosebuds. In reality, I should have had 48, 
So I'm going to make an adjustment on my on my next rows to get the right amount of stitch because from here on we'll need multiples is it from here on no not from here on i'll let you know when but let me just check something here on my other panel okay so where we have our markers i'm going to take it out we don't need these markers here anymore but we are going to put them up top because you guys will need it for sure now we're going to have So basically, where we have the increase here, <clears throat> going straight up, I'm going to put a marker. Actually, I can put it down here because we need to work on that space. And also on this side, we have the increase there of the two double crochet. So I'm going to put it right down here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That means I have to do eleven on this side also. So where I have my marker, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven. And I'm going to put my marker right after that eleven. Okay. I'm going to come in with my white slip stitch knot. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to do three singles. This rule will be all about singles. Three singles per, per space here, where we have that three chain space. Two, three. I'm going to do one chain only. Here we'll be doing a two chain on the curves, but not, oops, not on the sides. So going directly into the next one, two, three, one chain into the next one, one, two, and three. I'm gonna do this until here. Or actually where my marker is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes, until my marker. Okay. Okay, so I've reached where my marker is. Now from here on, I'm gonna do. Let me just check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. Okay, I'm still gonna do one because it's after my 11. On this, on the next one here, so that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I have 13. I'm going to do this time, I need to do an increase. So I'm gonna do four singles, okay? One, two, three. Four. It's an adjustment I'm making. Chain two. Only on the curves we're doing this chain two. One, two, and three. Chain two. So I need all, I need uh, four increases. So I'm going to do one here, one there, and then two on the other side, the opposite side. 
chain two. One, two, and three. Chain two, and again the same thing. One, two, and three chain two until I meet just before the marker on this side. I've done my chain two. Now on this one here, I'm going to do four singles, two, three, and four. If I need to make uh, more adjustment up top, I will. Two chain again, and then come back and do your three singles. So I've done the my two increases that I need and I'll do the other two just before the marker also now we're going to continue with one chain only and again come in and do your three double crochets uh, three singles sorry I don't know where's my mind okay so we started with that one chain that means that you're going to count again One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So our thirteen is this one here, which is fine. Okay, now continue and I'll do my increase again right after my marker. I'll do four and then two chain three. And then again, getting here, I'll do my two chain. And I'll do my four everywhere else is three singles with two chain only on the edge on the corners and the edges is one chain. Okay, everyone. So I've closed in with slip stitch after doing my two, my last two chain. I've done my increase here four and I've done my increase here four singles. Okay, so now we have four increases. Now if I need to modify something further up, then I will do it. Okay, so we finished doing our singles. Now we're going to go into double crochet. So this whole row will be about double crochet. So I've done my single. I'm going to come back in, single and two chain into the next stitch, double crochet. So we have those three singles. We're going to do three double crochet. Now here, I'm going to use my smaller hook because it's a little bit, I don't want big holes. So behind here, this, you don't have to do this, by the way. I want to do it because I want to facilitate uh, when the customer, or even if it's a family member, whatever, they wash it. Um, I don't want the rosebuds to be bending forward, you know, and out of place. So I'm going to um, connect it. So behind here, we have two loops on that middle peacock. And I'm going to come in where we have that one chain. Okay, and hook that peacock right behind. Okay, and then come right on top of that first single and do the three double crochets. Now I'm using a smaller hook just to get in there, but while I'm at it, I'm stretching my my double crochets again i'm gonna come from behind that middle i know it's hard for you guys to see especially that this is um, royal blue but there's two uh, make sure you, you grab two the two loops back here because if you grab only one it's going to pull on on the flower okay and then come in where we have that one chain pull it through stretch your thread and do your double crochet and then we're coming on that first single and we'll be doing the same thing so it's one double crochet where we have one chain here on the edges we have two chains so it will be two double crochet okay but I'll meet you at the edge again one per stitch so we have three singles we'll do one per stitch now where we have the increase of four we'll be doing the four double crochets Again, I'm going to come behind that middle peacock. And I know it's hard for you guys to see because of this royal blue, but I have both loops here on my hook. And I'm going to come in behind that one chain, pull right through it, stretch, and do my double crochet. 
Okay, then continue with the three singles. I'll meet you at the edge. Okay, everyone. So I've done my four double crochets. That's my first increase. I'm going to grab my two loops back here for the peacock. Now, like I said, you don't have to do this. You can go directly into that one chain space if you find it too hard to, to have it done this way. I'd rather take a little bit more time and have it done properly so it looks nice. So we have those two chain. I'm going to come back in that, that chain, the two chain we did, and increase again another double crochet because when we have the two chain, it's supposed to be two double crochet. And then one per stitch, so we have the three singles. We'll do the three double crochet. And we're going to proceed that way again two double crochet on each two chain stitch, okay? And like I said, you can grab the two loops back here of the peacock, okay? So, I'll meet you at the end of mine. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished doing all my double crochets. Now we're going to do one double crochet per stitch until we hit that marker point and then I'll, we have an increase on the corners again. I'll let you know where. So I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm coming back in, doing my single, my two chain, and then again, one per stitch until we meet that marker. Okay, so one double crochet per stitch. Okay, everyone, so I've done one double crochet per stitch. Here's my marker. I'm exactly on the double crochet right after I hooked my uh, peacock. That means here we have the two chain. So right after on my second double crochet, remember we have to put two in that two chain space. This is where I'm going to do my increase. Two on the same stitch. Then I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, and an increase on my fifth. Okay, so two together on your fifth. And then again, one, two, three, four, and on your fifth, again, an increase. All the way till the other marker. I'll let you know how many increases I have when I hit the marker. Okay, everyone, so I've done... 12 increases that counted right from the very first one. Now, some of you might say, yeah, but, I need, but it does not end on the one after I hooked in. Don't worry about it. As long as you count your five, your four and then go and increase into your fifths 12 times, you're good to go. Another thing is that, you know, at first it might seem like it's all pulling like that, but don't forget once you fill in those increases and those double crochets it becomes nice and flat now here there is no increase it's only at the edges so on the other side we have to do 12 increases also so from here on it's one per stitch until we meet that marker again and then one per stitch okay um and the marker of course you count your four double crochets and on your fifth you add your increase you have to do that the same way as you did here 12 times okay so i'll meet you at the end okay everyone so i finished all my double crochets now on this row i'm going to do singles so i'm coming back in on the same one i've closed with slip stitch single and i'm going to do multiples of nine now if I'm correct, I should have 234 
double crochets here. If I don't have, could happen, maybe I'm missing one or two, or I have extra, or if I'm missing, I can increase on my um, singles, okay? And if I'm over, then I can skip. So I've done two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is how I'm going to count to make sure that I have multiples of nine. Okay, so we're going to do that all the way around until the end. Just singles, make sure you have multiples of nine. And I'll meet you at the end of my row. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we are to have 28, uh, 28 times 9. So that will give you the, um, the 234, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I'm right, because I'm terrible at counting. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that I at least have my, 100, my 234 singles here, just to make sure that I'm on the right track. Okay, so... It's 234, so I should have 26, let's say, let's call them groups of nine, okay? So I'm going to continue mine and then show you how I calculated it. Now, if you want to put a marker uh, on your ninth and then you restart again counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you can put a marker on your ninth and see if you can, or even before you do your singles, because it's all singles all the way around, you can count your double crochets and on your ninth put a marker. Make sure that you balance all of it out, you know, and um, get your 26, I would call them groups of nine, okay, all together. So let me just check something here for a second. Okay, everyone, so I've done my 234 singles. That means I had to jump two space, okay? So I had two double crochet extra, which is okay. You can jump those two. Now, I'm going to come back into the same one and do a shell of three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. So I have my first shell, three double crochet, two chain, three double crochet, chain five. Two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm gonna come on my ninth and create my shell again of three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet, all on the same stitch. I'm gonna do that all the way around. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've finished all my shells. Now, if you had the 234 singles, you should not have any problems from here on. I have 26 groups of shells. That's what the 234 singles. Skipping eight going into your ninth, you should have 26 groups of shells. Okay, so on to the next step. The next step is very easy. We're going to do the walk into the center of that shell. And we don't need to make any more adjustments. This is going to go through all the way to the end. So inside of my shell, I did a single two chain. I'm going to complete eight double crochets inside of my two chain shell. All of them will be like this. Two, four, five six, seven, and my eight double crochet. 
chain two. I'm going to skip one, two, and come into my third chain with a single. Now, if you find that it's pulling too much, you can do a chain three. I don't need to, so I'm continuing with my chain two. Again, repeating the same thing. Eight double crochets, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And it doesn't matter the other sizes that you do. Let's say if you're gonna do like I did the medium with 66 chain stitch or the large, the bigger piece, 72 chain stitch. It works out the same way, okay? As long as you have even numbers of shells. So two, four, six, eight, chain two, skip one, two, come on your third chain with single, chain two, and repeat the eight double crochets again. We're almost there. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I finished my row. Next row, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, five chain. Coming on that first peacock into the next stitch, four again. One, two, three, and four. You guys probably find that um, I'm in a different lighting, I'm in a different room, my crochet room slash nail hair room is being renovated, opening walls to have doors so I can have more clarity going in there. For that reason, I had to finish my tutorial here. Chain two. One, two, three, and four. So we're gonna repeat everything again. One, two, three, four, and five chain. Coming in that first one and closing it up. And again, into the next stitch, four double crochets again. Two, three, and four. I hope you can see well. I hope that this cloth isn't too bright for you. Try to get a darker cloth. Maybe it's better. I should be recording just now. Okay, so chain two and four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. One per stitch. Five chain. One, two, three, four, five. Come back on that first one and close it with single into the next stitch. One, two, three, and four. One, two. Now, if your stitch is too tight, you can do a three chain. And now we're just going to repeat what we've just done. We're going to do this all the way around the same way. So that should give you more of an idea of what it looks like. Okay. Sorry if I didn't think about putting a darker towel behind it. My brain sometimes, I don't know. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, on to the next stitch. So it seems it, it tends to pull a bit, but don't worry about that. Once you stretch it a bit, and then, of course, you're going to block it. I usually block it with a little bottle of uh, laundry softener mixed with a bit of water and spray, stretch it, and a light iron steam over it. it stays nice and stiff in place. Okay, on to the next row. So I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm going to come back in. Single two chain. Now we're going to do the four in complete double crochets. Two, three, and four. Close it all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chain. 
coming into that first double crochet again, incomplete, one, two, three, and four. So you have five loops on your hook, close it together. So we're gonna have like a 10 chain loop up there, and one, two chain again, coming back in, and complete four double crochets, the same way as we just did. This is how we're gonna do this row all the way around, and close it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and complete, and complete, and complete, and again. Close it together. Okay, two chain space. If you find it's pulling, you can do an extra chain here. Instead of doing 10, you can do 11, 12. It's up to you. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, on to the next row. Pretty much finished this row. We have two more rows left. So I'm gonna come into that 10 chain, single two chain. I'm going to complete 13 double crochets in here. Now, if you need to add one or two more, go ahead. Um, if you find it's not enough for you, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13. Now you can do 14, 15, it's up to you. I'm going to come directly into this two chain with a single and just repeat again my 13 double crochets. This is how we're going to do this row all the way around the same way. Then I'm going to cut my thread after this and do the last row with the lighter shade of blue but you can use whatever color you're using. Uh, you can do all in one color. You can mix many other colors. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of my row. Okay, everyone, done my row. Going into my last row with the lighter shade of blue. If I'm not mistaken, I think they call this the crab stitch, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to come in on that second double crochet here, maybe, and I'm going to do a slip stitch. I'm going to bring the string to the back. I'm going to do one stitch, one chain, slip stitch, one chain. and slip stitch one chain this is always going to be the same way one chain slip stitch one chain slip stitch all the way around the same way you can do whatever ending you'd like you can do singles i mean it's up to you and slip stitch on my last one, okay? Now I have my single here. Remember we did the single. I'm gonna come from behind and out, and I'm gonna do a front post single. And then again, I'm gonna skip this first one here. I'm going directly into the second one, slip stitch, one chain, slip stitch, one chain. And that's how it's going to be all the way around the same way. Pretty much done with this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanna thank every single one of you. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. It costs nothing, it's free, and it helps us creators out. And Please give a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. Any suggestions, questions, please feel free 
might take a little bit of time to answer you because our time frame is different. Okay, so front post uh, single, and then in my second double crochet, slip stitch, one chain, slip stitch, one chain, and so on. And this is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think about it. Um, I will see you in the next tutorial. God bless you. Thank you so much. I'll leave the measurements below in the video. And how much thread I have used. Okay? Thank you, everyone. Until next time. Bye-bye.